Capricorn hello welcome back or welcome if you guys are new to my channel my name is Jazz and this is going to be how your crush feels about you so sit back relax take a chance you guys can smash that like button or leave a comment down below just don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me Capricorn let's go ahead ooh, and get right into this message here we're gonna see how the person that you are crushing on or the person that you have on your mind, how they feel about you. The person that Capricorn has on their mind, the person that Capricorn is crushing on, how do they feel about them? All right, let's see what's going on here, spirit, for Capricorn. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? We have the energy of friends. A meaningful connection is necessary in your time of need. This person definitely wants to build some sort of a friendship with you. They definitely want to build some sort of a of a connection. Bottom of the deck is challenges, obsession, and romance. Negative and unhealthy obstacles are upon you. Be careful and be careful. There are strong and strong desires and attachments. This person may have strong feelings for you here, Capricorn, and they may be trying to work through those energies work through what they what they feel because they do feel very drawn or connected to you here let's get one more to kind of solidify the energy for capricorn with this energy of friends the person that they're crushing on the person that they have on their mind what is the message here for capricorn let's just get one energy here please Just one energy message here, please. Just one message here, please, for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. So we have crossroads. There's an indecision. Someone needs to make a choice. So this person that you have on your mind, they, they definitely, yeah, romance, reconciliation, wheel of luck. This person could be trying to not necessarily press their luck this person wants to build this connection make make sure that you guys have a strong bond a strong friendship here because this person does see more with you right they do they do feel like this connection could go to higher heights could could expand to more right more than friendship but there is this sense of not necessarily knowing that yet right not necessarily knowing if that is an option this person is at a crossroads of whether whether or not they want to share those feelings here with you this person does feel like you and them are um very connected you guys may share a lot of similarities with each other um which this person may even pick up on here. So let's take a look to see what their thoughts are about you. What does this person think about Capricorn? Spirit, what does this person think about Capricorn? What does this person think about Capricorn here, please? You got the five of wands. This is Leo energy. So this person could definitely have a lot of, yeah, sexual thoughts and feelings about you here. This person may actually be very sexually, um, sexually drawn to you or desiring you in that way, Capricorn. Um, and it could be why this person is, is very conflicted as to, you know, if they want to change the dynamic of the connection, because once you guys become intimate with each other, they know that that's going to change the dynamic forever. And this person is really fighting that energy. Yeah, you have the two of wands. So this person is in a lot of fire energy. You could be dealing with a, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, um, heavy on the Leo energy here as well. This person is definitely, um, got a lot of passion for you, right? They, they feel, they feel a lot of different things. This person is very conflicted, um, within themselves and it could just be because of, yeah, what they are feeling. Look at that. Two of wands. They may feel like you and them share, a lot with one another this person may even feel like you and them are a 
true match or a true pair of some sort. This person um, definitely is, I don't want to say obsessed with you, but this person, they're definitely passion, passion forward here. They definitely have a lot of energy that they feel like they can give out. This person thinks about you a lot. They, they dream about you. Um, yeah, the five of wands with the, the king of wands here. It's, it's quite powerful energy. Tell us about this five of wands energy here, please spirit. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. You guys could um, even work together or you guys could know each other from school or go to school together. Uh, this could even be somebody who is um, like in your immediate circle or somebody that you know, maybe through like a friend or a friend or somebody that you've been friends with for a long time. It's going back to that changing the dynamic because of what they feel for you. Bottom of the deck is the three of cups, the three of wands and the two of swords. Yeah, you and this person may be friends or have been friends for quite a long time. You have three threes here. Yeah, three threes here. So this is definitely about birthing something, creating something, expanding something. This person feels like you and them, you know, are meant to be in some sort of a union, almost like destined or fated to be to be together, but they may not be speaking on that. They may not be saying that. Give us one more here for the five of wands and the king of wands, because this person definitely thinks it. Justice, yeah. You guys may already have some sort of a contractual agreement with one another and, you know, acting on these impulses, acting on these um, energies or these feelings that this person have, they don't want to change that. They don't want to change the dynamic of the connection because you guys may be uh, long term friends. Yeah. This person is thinking about the future with you here, Capricorn. This person is thinking about pushing things forward to the next level. This could even be about moving. This person may even um, be wanting to have some sort of contractual agreement or commitment with you and they are very conflicted internally about how to do this. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune here. Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups, this person, you know, Capricorn, I feel like they're definitely thinking about moving into a new direction with you. And this may be um, like quite literally moving home. This person may be even thinking about moving jobs to come closer to you um, or relocating to come closer to you. This person may be thinking about y'all relocating together changing got jobs together we have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck with death and the empress yeah this person may even be thinking about elevating you to the next level thinking about doing this together they do see that you and them are some sort of a true pair here this person is wanting to bring some sort of justice to the situation right bring things into balance so there could have been something that that came between the two of you in the past with that three of swords energy and this person is wanting to kind of bring balance to that situation because they're telling me that this five of wands three of swords could definitely have been some sort of a disagreement or argument that you guys could have had could have had excuse me um in the past and this could have been about <clears throat> um you know too much passion too much pleasure um this could have been how this person was acting or you know what this person was doing but i feel like they want to bring justice to that they want to it's like they want to sign some sort of a contract with you 
right? It's almost as if they're no longer thinking about this. It's like the only thing they want to think about is moving forward and having a future. And we see that with the Two of Wands, the, the Wheel of Fortune, excuse me, the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups. You know, this person does have a lot of, they have a lot of love for you. It's, they have a, they have a hard time expressing it or they have a hard time showing it. Yeah, Queen of Wands. I'm being very honest here at Capricorn. This person feels like you and them are some sort of a true pair situation. You have the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Chariot. And we're looking at how this person feels about you. This person feels, again, like you and them are supposed to be in some sort of long-term committal relationship or some sort of union here. This person has a lot of love for you. You guys have the Ace of Cups coming out here. And I feel like this person is they hold this back. They don't express this or show this in the manner in which you, you want to hear Capricorn. And that's just this person's, um, kind of persona. This person may have heavy air in their chart or heavy fire in their chart, right? So this person comes forward very passionate. They come forward, you know, with a lot of fun, with a lot of joy, um, or very stern and straightforward, um, but not necessarily very emotional, but I do see, again, with this chariot, this person is wanting to move things forward. This person could also be relocating. This person could be wanting to relocate with you. Again, this is like moving, changing jobs, changing careers. Um, this person feels like you and them are maybe even moving in a direction together here. This King of Swords, King of Wands energy, this is this person. So... This person doesn't necessarily feel like there are other people that are around you, but this person does feel like you and them are meant to have some sort of contractual agreement. And they they feel this indefinitely. Like, this is something that they feel. They feel like the two of you are supposed to have some sort of long-term committal type of relationship, and they even feel like the two of you are supposed to come together to start something brand new. Tell us about the energy of the chariot here, please. You got the three of cups, Cancerian energy. So lots of Cancer energy. So this could be something, again, happening in the summertime. You got the king of pentacles. This person may even, even be wanting to surprise you with something here, Capricorn. Yeah, and the devil. I almost feel like this person is wanting to surprise you with something here, Capricorn. You've got Capricorn energy, Cancerian energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well as Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus heavy on the Aries, heavy on the Taurus energy here. I feel like this person may even be wanting to surprise you um, with something physical. Like this could be a gift of some sort. This person may be wanting to offer you up a gift or offer you up, you know, something of value to show you that they care. This is healing. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords to the, with the star is healing. This was some sort of thought process or mental energy where this person, again, was not feeling good enough here for you in some sort. They've healed that energy. They've overcome that energy. This person feels like they have nothing but love for you. 100% nothing but love for you. Tell us about this Ace of Cups here. You have death, scorpionic energy. Tell us about the Ace of Cups. 
they feel like you have helped them transform yeah two of cups this person almost feels like you have been a muse or a trigger to them in some in some sense like to help them move forward to help them heal to help them overcome and it's like they want nothing more than to to show you how much that they care to show you how much that that they love you tell us about the queen of wands king of swords two of swords yeah you guys may not even be uh talking like that and this person may feel like now it's time to kind of break the ice in a sense yeah page of swords and say something and open up page of wands yeah it's like this person feels like now is the time to break the ice let's communicate let's open up let's say something i gotta tell you how i feel because this person is wanting to cross this bridge over into the next phase because for some of you, this is a friend or for others of you, this is somebody who they may not want to because this, this could be a reconciliation. So this person may want to extend an offer of a friendship to hopefully build towards something more here. Are you willing to leave the past in the past in order for us to build and bond? It's up to you. What do we need to see here as it relates to the energy of this person's intentions in the near future, please, Spirit? What is this person's intentions in the near future? Okay. Okay, you got the lovers. So it seems like somebody's making some sort of choice or decision here with the lovers. This person's intentions the next two to, uh, two to four weeks. So this could be happening in the next two to four weeks. You have the world and you have the Ten of Cups. Wow, yeah, I definitely... Ooh, somebody is making a move here. They're coming towards you. This person could be traveling towards you. This person could be um, not necessarily traveling towards you, but bringing you to them. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords, the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this this person is wanting to invest in you and the connection. They're wanting this to be some sort of long term thing, right? This person sees happiness with you, and it's almost as if they choose you. They're tired of being, um, they're tired of being without you. All right, show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit. Switch decks. Tell us about the lovers, the Ten of Cups in the world. Queen of Pentacles trying to come out. Again, this person may be wanting to make you their spouse. They want to elevate you to the next level. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles is a true pair. You guys, ha guys have death coming out twice, so double death. There's definitely transformation that has happened within this connection and it's renewal and it's leading to some sort of new beginning so this could be um, a reconciliation between you and another individual you have the page of cups we see an offer coming in you have the six of wands something that is very successful temperance energy and the hermit i feel like somebody's been working on or planning or strategizing something in secret um so i wouldn't be too surprised if this person does surprise you bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune and the high priestess there's something coming that you don't see uh from this person here capricorn so allow yourself to be open to whatever new beginnings are getting ready to be released to you here okay You've got cleaning house with East energy, which is new beginnings. So once again, endings are leading you to new beginnings here, right? Something very um, unexpected is going to take place and it's going to open you up to this new reality. I'm going to leave this here. I love you all. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon.